what is git this is one of the very basic question that comes in our mind when we start working with git so in order to proceed further in our tutorial we should know what exactly git is and how it is different from other tools that are available in the market git has been widely accepted across all the multinational companies nowadays and has been used on day to day activities so what exactly is a version control system or a tool let's take an example of a project so in this particular screen you can see we have multiple versions that has been committed or has been saved for a particular project so if we say let's say for a project 1 i have been or a person has been working for n number of days and they have made changes on a day to day basis counting from version 1 to version n so let's say an example of a positive case so let's say a person did changes from version 1 to version n minus 1 and entire thing was working totally fine and the project was going smoothly but what if on the nth day if we committed some changes and the changes breaks our code and the final version that we got the version n is not acceptable and cannot be shipped to our customer so what to do in this case so if we are not having any version control system the version n will be the final and it will be creating a lot of problem for us as the entire work that we have done is gone for a toss but if we have version control system we have always an option to go back to a previous version that is version n minus 1 and minus 2 or version 1 on any given day so a version control system provides a lot of feasibility when it comes to go back or to fall back to a previous version as well as it has a very big advantage of providing a different tools or a different features that comes with it depending on the version control system that we are using there are basically three types of version control system in the market that is localized version control system centralized version control system and distributed version control system git in short is a distributed version control system which has a leading edge over localized as well as centralized version control system in any leading industry there are multiple developers that are working across the globe on a single project so git provides a better coordination between all of these developers by providing its own features like branching merging committing etc with git whenever a change is made in a system there is always a log that is generated which provides more detail about the commit that has made in the system so it's always easier to track and know who has made the changes and if in case something breaks we can always go back to a person and ask for the changes and revoke it back as we all know version control system provides a system in which we can track the changes that are made for any particular project so reverting or going back to that particular working version is always possible at any given point of time so reverting back is a very big positive point that comes up with a version control system with distributed version control system that is git we have always an advantage in which we have the entire repository that is copied on a local as well as on a report server so in short whenever we do any commit or whenever we made any change we are not directly committing it to the repository first we are doing the changes or the changes are committed initially to our local system and then from there it is pushed to the central repository so if in case anything happens to the central repository or the main server we always have a local copy that contains the latest changes that can always be used if anything happens to the main repository let's summarize the concept of git git keeps a track of code history so whenever any changes are made to a particular project a track of the entire code changes are made within git and it can always be revoked back git takes a snapshot of a particular file rather than taking a difference for some of the version control tool the difference of a changed file is maintained but in case of git a snapshot is always maintained a user has a power to decide when to take a snapshot by doing a commit and with the snapshot in hand the user has a privilege to going back to the particular snapshot at any given point of time Not only this git also provides an added advantage by providing a staging area where the files can be temporarily placed before performing any git operation. Now let's go back to a previous point that was why we should use git. So git has many advantage on top of any other version control tool that is performance, security, open source, git branches, git save snapshot not difference, work offline and distributed version control system. So we'll talk about all of these points one by one. What is performance improvement in case of git? In case of git we use all the operations locally. That is once we start using git we do all our changes first to our local and then from there it is pushed to our central repository. 
So since all of the operations are done locally, the performance improvement is huge in this case. Second is security. Git uses SHA-1 that is SHA-1 for doing all its encryption. So it becomes very difficult for a third party to come in between and do any changes. So the security is very critical and very highly maintained in case of Git. The third point is open source. Like Linux, Git is also an open source project. So in this case, all the developers across the globe comes in and provide their feedback. The fourth point is Git branch. So Git provides a added feature that's called Git branches. So let's say in any project, if you're working on a master branch and you want to do any experimental project on top of a master branch, you are more than welcome to create an experimental branch on a local at any point of time. So in this case, what happens is like, if you are fine with the experimental branch, the branch can always be merged to the master branch at any given point of time. And if the branch is not suitable for merge, it can be disposed as well at the same time. Fifth point is saving snapshots. So Git saves snapshots, not difference. As discussed previously, few of the version control system that is VCS stores difference of the change file. But in case of Git, it saves snapshot, which is a very huge advantage and provides a great visibility to the end users. Sixth point is working offline. As discussed, most of the operations of Git are performed locally. That is first the changes are committed to a local repository and then from there it is pushed to your central repository. So for doing any changes on a local, there is no internet connection required. As a result, the developers can do any check-in on, on their local without having an active internet connection. And the last point that is a distributed version control system that is Git. So Git is a distributed version control system as discussed previously and is a huge advantage over local and centralized version control system.